Welcome back to the channel everybody, my name is Chief Chawan and in this episode we are going to learn how to save our character data in Minecraft Dungeons so that we don't lose another character. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so if you're using the standalone Minecraft launcher you are going to want to open up your documents you're going to want to go to percent app data you're going to want to come back off roaming i'll actually increase the size here so you can actually see come back to app data click local scroll down to where it says dungeons don't worry about saved that has nothing to do with it even though it might be uh something you'd want to click because we are looking for the game saves jump up to the numbers here Everybody won't have the same numbers, it's different for everybody. So don't worry if your numbers don't match mine. Click into that. Don't worry about savefile.dat. Jump up to characters. And there's your uh, character data. So, you're gonna wanna take both of those after you've played your game, after you're finished for the day. Click these, whichever character you played on, or if you played on both, take both. Or if you just have one save file, just take the one. You're gonna wanna right click, go to copy, Minimize that. This is my standalone uh, Minecraft Dungeons Launcher backups. I just made a file, or uh, I made a yeah file on my on my desktop. Jump into here, paste it. There you go. Now you're gonna want to do this every single time you play. Don't not do it because I didn't do it when I first started playing and I lost only 16 levels. Now I recorded all those levels, so it was a lot more time than just playing. But for people who have lost level 100 110 characters above that whatever it is it sucks to lose your character data so make sure you save or copy the save file every time if you're going to reinstall the game uh, mine was due to a power outage so something as wild as that can ruin your entire save file so make sure you do that now that's for the standalone launcher if you are not doing the standalone launcher and you are doing it through the microsoft store like i did you are going to want to do the same thing so let's go back into the files. We'll do the same thing, percent app data. Oops, there we go. Let's go there, let's go back to app data, local. Come down to packages right here. Now you're, wanting, you're gonna wanna look for Microsoft.lovica. So click that, go to local cache go to local dungeons and again your numbers won't match mine they'll be different but don't worry about it don't click saved go into your numbers click your numbers same thing characters take this after every time you play copy it come to your uh, backups and see I already have mine backed up here so I've got my Microsoft Dungeons or my Minecraft Dungeons character backups, Microsoft, not standalone, and I've pasted them in here. So guys, it's simple as that. I know some people have figured out sort of how to recover your character data, but I wasn't able to recover mine, so I can't make a video on that. I was completely left with starting at square one. But here's how I'm gonna start my next little playthrough here. I will be saving every single time because that sucked to lose all that stuff and I know it sucks for each and every one of you who have had this happen. So there you go guys. It's as simple as that. Make sure you do it every time. I know it's ridiculous that um, a company as big as Microsoft slash Mojang doesn't have cloud saving in 2020 but you know what guys it is what it is. You have to protect yourselves. They don't care about your lost data. You know, your emails aren't gonna solve it, so make sure you do this for yourself. Make sure you protect your data, make sure you protect your saves, and uh, you protect your time because time is money. So anyways, guys, I hope that helped you out, and if it did, drop a like, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.